In this presentation, we will learn how to write strings using printf and puts function. So let's get started. Writing strings using printf function is very simple. We just have to mention something like this. Printf, within this printf function, the two arguments, one is percentile s and the other one is the pointer to the first character. We know that this is a string literal, right? Compiler will automatically allocate some memory to it and it will return the pointer to the first character or the address of the first character. This address we will store in some pointer and then we can pass this pointer as the second argument to the printf function. So this is quite simple and it will display the output hello world on the screen. In this way we can write string on the screen using printf function. If we want to print just a part of the string then we can use %ns where n is the number of characters to be displayed on the screen. Here in place of n you just have to mention the number of characters you want to display on the screen. For example, here in this case I just have mentioned 5 because I just want to display first 5 characters of the string. So only hello will be printed on the screen, right? Now if we want to print just a part of the string but within a specified field then we have to mention something like this percentile m.ns where m represents the size of the field within which the string will be displayed. For example, if we write percentile 6.5s then something like this will be displayed on the screen. Obviously with the first printf function we just want to print the first 5 characters of the string. But with 6.5 there is some change we can observe over here. One space is created over here. Why this space is created? Let's see. The reason why this space is created is because we have mentioned the length of the field as 6. We can imagine a field as a sequence of cells in which the number of cells are indicated by the value of m. Here in this case this value is 6. So there are total 6 cells in this field. And within this field all the 5 characters will be displayed. And they will be displayed starting from this point. That is from the right hand side not from the left hand side. This means that O L L E H will be displayed and there is one cell which remains vacant or empty. That is why we can observe a space over here because this cell remains vacant. So here M is very useful to write justify a string. Okay. Now let's try to understand how to write string using puts function. We have learned how to write strings using printf function but let's see how we can write a string using puts function. Puts function is a function declared in stdio.h library and is used to write strings to the output screen. Please remember that this puts function is declared within the stdio.h library, okay? Which is also containing the declaration of the printf function, right? So both printf and puts function are declared in stdio.h library, okay? And basically this puts function is also used to write strings to the output screen. Puts function automatically writes a new line character after writing the string to the output screen. So it automatically writes a new line character after writing the string to the output screen. For example, here in this case puts function is used to display this string on the screen. Here we just have to pass the pointer to the first character and we don't have to mention the percentile s in this case like in the printf function. That is why it is easy to write. Apart from this, Automatically it will add a new line character after writing the string to the output screen. Okay, so the output of this program is hello, hello. We can see here this hello string is first printed and automatically a new line character is added. Therefore, next time the string will start from the new line. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.